Hey, this is Josh. Wanted to share with you something that Tito Bort and I are cooking up. This is Solstice sunglasses. What do they sell? Sunglasses. What would make them happier? Selling more sunglasses. What's the problem? Sunglasses here are images. And if these images are too big, they load slowly on mobile devices. And if images are loading too slowly on mobile devices, you guessed it, people don't stick around and they lose lots of sales. So Solstice Sunglasses is solving this problem today by having their DevOps people literally optimize all of these images across all browsers and all mobile devices. It's a painstakingly slow and cumbersome process given all the SKUs and new glasses that are always popping into the shop. Enter Pio. Instead of DevOps doing that, with just a click, Pio optimizes those images across all devices and across all browsers, making images load faster, leading to more sales. So Tito and I were thinking, how can we actually show this to prospects? What we landed on was this. This is actually a site that Google created that actually tests the speed of websites on mobile devices. And so you can see here, the virtual assistant popped in Solstice sunglasses, and it, you can see it's loading really slowly. And this is actually a picture of the site. And so what we had them do is just literally take a screenshot of this, right? Shrink it down a little bit and throw it into a Google Drive. So you can see we did it for Solstice, Sleep City, Spice Tea. This is just an example. We have hundreds of these images that the VAs are capturing after they run them through this tool, right? That's step number one. Step number two, they're in the drive. Step number three, off to the CSV file. So this should look a little familiar. This is a spreadsheet, right? We got company name, you've seen that before, website, first name, email address, mobile phone number, which guys, you should be getting from Lead IQ, right? The image URL. So this is where things get a little different. The image URL is essentially this, right? If I right click on this and say share link, this is the actual URL that I would paste in here. But I can't use this. I gotta get some code. And this is gonna be very clear to you once you actually see where this is going. I gotta get some HTML code that I'm gonna generate for each of these images. So this is actually the code that uh, we wrote. This is actually using what's called a concatenation command. It's you know a little jargony. But if I paste this in here, and then I double click this little blue thing, I now have unique URLs, HTML code rather, for each of these images. And you'll see why this is important in a second. But really no work, right? Just paste it in, click the blue button, and it's gonna fill it in for all of the images that the VA sourced over here. We've also got some things like price and specific product. Uh, we're not gonna talk a little bit about this today, uh, but Tito and I use this in the messaging. We're actually not gonna share with you the entire email, we're just gonna share with you uh, the, the, the first couple sentences, but you can get an idea of, of how we might use this stuff. So now I have the spreadsheet. Next step, what am I gonna do? I'm just gonna save it down, right? File, save as CSV file. Once that's saved, we're going into everybody's favorite tool, Outreach. Woo -woo. Hat tip, Mark Cosgo. Okay, so here I am in Outreach. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just import those leads. Very simply, there are the leads. I click them, they go next. It's going to map all the fields. Company, website, first name, email address, phone number, image code, price and product. We don't want the image URL. We're not gonna be able to use that, just the code. So that's okay that that's not mapped. Gonna hit next and hit yes here. And what I like to do is I like to actually put a tag here just in case the import goes awry and the data's bad. I like to actually have this tag so that I can actually search for it and just delete these leads if I need to. I can just roll it back essentially. It's like an undo button. Hit next and in it goes. And there we are. That one's actually funky. Let me delete. Oh, that's the row that we had before that didn't really have any data in it. So let me actually just blow that out. So here we are. Here's our three prospects. All right, so far so good, right? And the three prospects, now we're gonna show you the cool part. So let me actually show this to you in a, as a template first. So this is a template we developed called Personalized Images Specific for the prospects Pio wants to go after. So here I am. And here's the template on the right-hand side, right? Greetings, Chloe. I recently clocked website using Google's nifty mobile speed test app and discovered that you folks are likely losing lots of visitors due to the time it takes to load your site on mobile devices running on 4G networks. And then what are we doing here? We're actually showing them a picture of their website and the actual rating of slow. And we're doing this at scale, right? So if we click the next one, we'd actually see that for Spice and Tea, we're showing their website and their rating. And if we did it for 
Sleep City, the same exact idea. Uh, these templates, once you've created them, obviously can be put into a sequence and people can be put into sequences and we can actually send the emails uh, like this at scale. Okay, so you might be thinking, how'd you guys do that? Well, take a look here. This is the magic, this custom one, custom field. Let me go back to the template so you can actually see this in action. So you'll notice after the 4G networks, we actually have a custom field that we created, very similar to first name or website, only it's got a little secret sauce because this custom field, like all custom fields in outreach, supports HTML code. What does that look like? Let me actually show you this. That is, if I edit Chloe, you'll see it right here. And that is coming right from the spreadsheet. So you can put any HTML code you want in there. And we actually figured out the proper dimensions for it, which we actually coded into the spreadsheet, which we can actually change. But these dimensions, for instance, are 225 by 500, but you can play around with that um, for your emails, depending on the images so that they're all uniform. Um, you can also put in um, animated GIFs. So that's it, guys. Hope this was helpful. Want to thank the outreach team for creating such an awesome product and also for Tito Bort. Really enjoyed working with him on this. All right, guys, take care. Let us know what you think in the comments.